Hey gang, Dan here, marginallyclever.com. Uh, I wanted to show you, this is the sexy arm that you've been seeing in my posts and on my feed. And thank you for being Patreon and liking and sharing and subscribing and all that business. Now, you see it's in pieces today. So what's going on here is I finally wore out a part for the first time ever. Um, here's the back of the wrist. So that piece over there goes on top of this piece. And then these three bits go around here, each one of them to one of these belts, right? And then these motors are on there. You might recognize this. See, it's Prusa. It's inspired by that design. So these all fit onto here. Now you, th there's a brass tube in here and there's a screw. This screw measures the rotation of this part. So I'm gonna grab this and turn it and we'll see if this, we can see this turning. Yeah, we see a lot of bits turning because they're all like connected, right? When the wrist turns, we call it this box here. We call it the Picasso box because one time I drew it on the whiteboard over there and I drew it so badly that it uh, it looked like something Picasso would make. So that's the Picasso box. So the Picasso box is turned by this belt, I think. I've got my order right. And then the ulna here, this rotation, the whole thing, the tuning fork, right? Because it's a fork like this, it's a tuning fork. So this is the tuning fork, that's the Picasso box, and then there's the wrist on the end. So this belt and the motor that goes with it turns the tuning fork. Ha ha ha! No, this one turns the tuning fork. This one turns the Picasso box. And this one turns the wrist. I could actually grab this wrist and turn it. Now you see, there's a little hole right here. Okay, good. This is the part that goes on there. And this is the set screw. Okay, so this one goes on this away. And then this set screw has to stick out just enough to go into the tube, but not enough to block the screw. I'm not a big fan of just tight enough, but that's basically what we've got here. We've got just tight enough. What happened is that screw, that set screw has come loose over time. And once it came loose, this would move and the wrist would not. So now I have to come up with a way to make sure that this screw stays the right tightness. And it's a problem that's gonna happen to the other two. So I wanna make sure they all behave. Yeah, of course. You who are keen with machinery, what, what do you say? What's your advice here? We tried making this piece a clamp and it tended to crush the two. Uh, and then the clamp was screwed. I don't have enough hands, but so there were some screws that went this way that attached the pulley part to the clamp part and that didn't work. So then we made this a one piece deal and that was okay, but yeah, so the screw has come loose. And I wanna fix this in a way that stays fixed. Um, I'm also looking for a way so remember this piece and its brother over here. This piece goes over this, like this, with the belt not being silly, like this. Okay, there we go. That piece goes over here. And then a little bit like this, this piece goes over top, right? And there's three of them. So I come around on this side, you'll see this hole, you have to slide this down over the three belts by pushing these into the hole. And then when you get to this one, you pull it out through here and the motor attaches, which is super fun. What I'm looking for is another way to do this that's easier to assemble and is still easy to print, right? Because this there's three of these in a row and there's the bearing inside them and the whole assembly, I think you get the idea. So whatever you've got, whatever ideas you might have, let me know because I'm trying to build this arm open source for everybody. And that way more people can use these robots to help each other, especially now with the COVID, right? And uh, Mr. Bezos, if you're listening, if you wanna buy a couple thousand of these to work in one of your warehouses and solve your COVID problem, I wanna help you. Let's, let's do a deal. Hey gang, I wanna thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Welcome to my channel. Uh, stick around, try the fish. <laughs> and uh, my lovely hand model back here, hi Kef. Yeah, check out her stuff too. She's always making. It's a, it's a house full of makers. Making, making, making. I wanna thank all my Patreon subscribers. We'll, we'll put them right about here-ish. And it's a beautiful day. So while I work on making a safer future for everybody, get outside, get some exercise, and, uh, and tell someone that you love them right? Uh, but not in a creepy way. I'll see you next time.